Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your love reading for the week of April 9th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Gemini. This is intended to be a love reading as most of my readings are. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then we'll break right into that tarot deck. Well, we're not going to use these two cards, but I'm going to let you see them. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. We're going to put these right over here and I'm still going to get one more to be revealed at the end. And I will put these at the end. I will bring them back out again. But grief and guilt. Hmm. Gemini. What do you have for Gemini this week? Jeez, some crow. Accepting the truth. Wake up awakening. Um, so there could be some communication that comes in this week that um, really opens your eyes to a situation. You could be dealing with somebody that is emotionally unavailable. This could even be a child, but it could be a partner. You're dealing with somebody who... Um, isn't available they have they lack emotion and you know you may be wanting to resist this change you may this may be a real struggle to let this person go this may be a real struggle to even deal with this person okay i think there's been a lot of sacrifices here but you're being called to look at this uh, through new eyes a new perspective you need to really struggle through something and see it through somebody else's reality okay this is going you're going through some sort of struggle you may not want to work you may have a hard time working you may be lacking energy lacking focus this week you may be feeling like a lot has been lost okay there's so definitely some feuds going on family feuds or feuding with an, a partner there's definitely some feuds going on maybe um, children are moving away or or there somebody's moving out of your house could be a partner somebody's moving out either way there's definitely some some feuds going on between with you and some other people um, I feel like you are being called to have a lot of courage, have a lot of strength at this time. Really find your inner strength to get through this, to let go of the situation. The strength card is about letting go. You have to let go of something. Okay? Because you got it. you, you know, sometimes, you know, this is about you give what you get. Or you get what you give. I can never say it right. Anyway, it's about deserving. Okay? Maybe you deserve more. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who, you know, is very controlling, very manipulative. There could have been a third-party situation. There could have been somebody that was out having a little bit too much fun. This person may drink too much. Uh, there's definitely a lot of conflicts with another person, and somebody is trying to prove themselves, you know, so they may be... Um, and whether that's you or the other person, now you need to ask yourself, do you really need to prove yourself or do you just want to be happy? Because I feel like there's something that needs to be let go. You need to sever ties with somebody. And even though you may not want to sever these ties, I think that you have to. Okay? Because I feel like this person is bringing you down. You're dealing with somebody who is trying to dominate. They're trying to... Um, really be in control that you're dealing with somebody who is very controlling um and they're they maybe even be after your money okay so i'm not sure who this is but i feel like you have to let something go and it's a struggle to let this go 
it's going to take a lot of courage to do that. Whoever you're dealing with is not emotionally able to give you what you deserve. This person is not emotionally in tune with themselves. Okay? And I feel like you are going through some sort of an awakening that is bringing you the truth of who this person really is. But anyway, let me get this zoomed in. Um, there's a lot of conflicts here with another person. There is. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is... Let me get some more cards before we go any further. Yeah, they're, they're very unstable. They're very insecure. They're out to use you for financially. Maybe they're looking for you to, to just take care of them financially, but they're not in love. Yes, okay. So the thing is, is you're, this is too burdensome for you. You are absolutely dealing with somebody who is only interested in uh, security and stability and perhaps even getting as much money as they can out of you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Even could be a child. This could be a child. But you're dealing with somebody who is hot-headed and stubborn and... Um, they see they see that you have the financial means to take care of them and that's right now that's all they care about okay they don't want to work they don't want to work on it they don't want to work harder to get their own money this definitely has to do with money as well whoever you're dealing with is trying to get out of paying up or get out of uh doing their part and i feel like you you know you have to they don't want to be held responsible. They don't want they don't want to accept responsibilities and I feel like they want you to take on all the responsibility. You're dealing with somebody who is using you. Yes, because they don't have enough money. And and maybe they think that you do, okay? I feel like they somebody you're dealing with somebody who has a really big ego and that You need to let them go. Whoever this person is, you need to let them go because they don't, they're not stable. They're not secure. They see you as their security. That's it. There's no love here. There's no love. This is ego. Okay, these cards, they all mean so much. This is, this is about somebody is, is thinking, trying to come up with a plan on how they can get you to take care of them without supporting you. You know what I mean? They want you to take care of them financially. And I don't know who this is for. This will not resonate with everybody. This is a love reading. Either way, I feel like something needs to be let go of. It's too heavy. It's really, really too heavy. You, all the responsibilities are yours. I mean, is that what this is? They don't want to be held responsible. They don't want to, they don't want to be responsible. So they want you to take care of them. <clears throat> You're dealing with somebody who is very self-centered and greedy. Okay? And I feel like it's causing you to lose sleep. It's causing you to have a lot of depression and worry. I think you're worried about whoever this person is, about how are they going to make it, you know, or how am I going to how am I going to provide for them financially? Am I going to have to provide for them financially forever? You know, they are they ever going to give me what I deserve? Are they ever going to put in effort? I think you're dealing with somebody who's not really putting in a lot of effort in a situation, whether it's a child or a partner, okay? Or, you know, this could even be work related, however you want to see it. I feel like you're not getting what you deserve. I feel like you know, there's a lack of faith here. There's a lack of commitment. Whoever you're dealing with, there could even be a divorce on the horizon, you know, or a split from somebody who is completely very conceited and greedy and not a nice person. Now, what advice do we have for Gemini? Well, we already got those two cards. They're pretty pretty advisory. I mean, we will bring them back out. But I feel like you guys have to let go of something. You have to let go. It's absolutely true. You have to let go of somebody or something that where you're, you're being used. Okay? You're going... So there's some sort of midlife crisis. You may be dealing with 
Maybe you're going through a midlife crisis right now. And this isn't some sort of disaster. Beware of false beginnings. Perhaps you're involved with somebody who is full of, who brings a lot of confusion to your life. They, they're, um, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice, period. Okay, I think you're dealing with somebody who is absolutely not in it for the right reasons. Okay, I'm just telling you that. I don't know who this is or this will not resonate with everybody, but you're dealing with somebody who is using you and it ends in disaster. And they may be just wanting to not be alone, so they're using you for the time period, you know, for now. I feel like you've been being lied to. Okay, these are lies. This is lies. This is feeling empty inside. I've been lied to. I know that there's. this is false. These are both false too. I know something is false. And I think that you see the truth. You notice we just see her eyes here. You know the truth. I feel like there could be a third party situation here. There has been a third party situation. And you're going to have to make some compromises, okay? You're going to have to make some compromises here, but it doesn't mean you have to give it all. I feel like somebody sees your compassion. They see who you are. They see that you are a beautiful soul, so they are taking advantage of you. Yes, I think they're going to get caught. The truth is going to come out. So, Gemini, I feel like you are dealing with somebody who is not does not have your best interest at heart they are out for you to take care of them financially whether it's a child a partner whatever somebody or they're you know you're working for them whatever and they don't want to pay up whatever this is somebody isn't thinking about you they see that you're a caring person they see that you're compassionate so they're taking advantage of you but I feel like this person is very greedy, conceited, and self-centered. And you are being called to let go of this situation and take control and not let them be in control. Because right now, it looks like they are in control. And this is weighing very heavily on your mind with that Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. This is very heavy for you to carry around. You know that this isn't right, whatever it is. You do. You do. You're dealing with somebody who is not in it for love at all this is this is community there you may receive some communication that you don't want to hear this is somebody who is a big big talker okay it could definitely be a child I don't know it could be a child or somebody that's younger than you it could also be a partner I don't know you're dealing with somebody that's all talk and they could care less about how you feel Don't, you need to set some boundaries. This is what needs to happen. There could be some unexpected conflict this week where you have to put your boundaries up, Gemini. You have to. You put your sword up. So, we're going to get this one. You have to put your sword up for this reason. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul and accept the truth. Somebody's about to get caught lying, put it that way. Okay. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. It's time to release the guilt for your own health. Okay. Something it needs to be let go of. I don't know what it is. But you do. Talk to you later.